Hey everyone, today we're making homemade pumpkin soup. Now we're making this from scratch, lots of good flavors, but I am using canned pumpkin for this because I want it to be quick and easy for you, especially if you're gonna make this for Thanksgiving, which you might wanna do. Uh, it comes together very quickly and it freezes really well. So you can make it ahead of time and then it'll be one less thing to have to worry about you know, with all the other foods that we're, you might be making. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you all the details on how to make this right after our chef joke. So here's chef joke number one. I got number two coming a little bit later. All right, what happens if you divide a pumpkin circumference by its diameter? You get pumpkin pie. So here's our ingredients for the recipe. We've got some pumpkin. I'm using organic pumpkin here. You wanna use the one that's just pumpkin. There's no spices or anything else in it. We'll need some chicken broth. You could also use vegetable broth if you like. And also I wanna mention with the, whatever broth you use, you wanna make sure that the sodium is pretty low. This only has like 50 grams of sodium in it. So it's very low compared to some of them. Some of them have like over 400. So if you use a lower one, you're gonna to wanna to use the amount of salt that I use in this recipe. If you use a chicken broth that has a lot more sodium in it, then you're gonna to wanna to cut back. We'll need some carrot, celery, some onion, lots of garlic. I'm using some coconut milk here that's full fat. And a substitute for that would be some heavy cream if you wanted to do that, but this is a, a non-dairy version. We'll need some olive oil. So for our spices, we have cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and some ground ginger. We'll need some salt and pepper. And I'm gonna garnish this with some sprouted pumpkin seeds. Now I'm gonna leave a link for you down in the description of this video where you can get these. These are really delicious, make a great snack in and of themselves, and they're just loaded with nutrition. So we're gonna start off by chopping up our garlic, and we're gonna just do a nice rough chop here because everything's going into the blender eventually. Next up is our onion, and again, we're gonna give that a rough chop. Here's our carrots, and the last is our celery. Okay, here at the stove, I've got a stock pot here. You wanna use one pot. That's what's great about this. You only have to use one pot to make this. I'm gonna put the temperature on medium to start. I'm gonna add some olive oil to this pan, about a tablespoon. We're gonna saute our onions and our carrots and celery for about 15 minutes or until they soften up. Now you might need to turn the temperature down as you go, which is usually the case. And let's add just a little pinch of salt here. Here's our onion mixture after 15 minutes and I kept lowering the temperature as we were getting more and more into it and it's time to add the garlic to that. And I did test the carrots with my fork and they are definitely fork tender, so that's good. Now I'm gonna add the garlic to this and saute this for two minutes. Keep it moving with your spatula. You're gonna smell it, it's gonna get very aromatic and delicious smelling. Oh, you're gonna love this. Now it's time to add our chicken broth. Now remember, if you're gonna use a higher sodium level, you're gonna cut back on the salt that we're gonna put in, right? Well, we, you can start with a half a teaspoon and then work your way up. You can taste it as you go. Here's our spices, our cinnamon, ginger, and cloves. Now for the nutmeg, I've got fresh. So I'm gonna grate this right into this and we're gonna, you know, have to estimate. And feel free to adjust these seasonings that you see fit, you know? Last time I dropped my nutmeg in the soup, I had to fish it out. Give that a stir. Next goes our pumpkin. We're gonna put this in here and combine everything. We're gonna add our salt. Now we wanna stir this up, get everything well mixed, and then we're gonna simmer this for maybe 10, 15 minutes. We want all those flavors to kind of meld together. Then we're gonna run it through the blender. Bring the soup to a boil. You can see it's starting to boil now. And give it a good stir so it doesn't stick. We're gonna put the lid on it and turn the temperature to low and simmer it for 10 minutes. And I'm putting the lid on it so that it doesn't uh, thicken up any more than it already is. 
All right, our soup is over there simmering for about 10 minutes, so that leaves us time for another chef joke and maybe some giggles. Why was Cinderella bad at sports? Because her coach was a pumpkin. <laughs> now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave some jokes down in the description of this video, similar to what I just told you. And I just thought it'd be kind of nice if some of you, you wanna copy and paste them, you can print them out, give each person at your Thanksgiving dinner a joke, and then you guys can share it with your family. So, just thought I'd do that. All right, let's get back to our recipe. 10 minutes have passed, here's our soup. It has been simmering away. Now we're gonna turn it off, we're gonna let it cool for just you know, five minutes or more. Uh, until it's cool enough, I'm gonna place that in my blender. Once the soup cools a bit, you're gonna wanna place some of it, not all of it, about half of a blender full. The reason being is it's super hot. You gotta be very careful with this. When you blend it, you don't want it to pick up or, you know, pop up and splash on you and burn you. So be real careful. All right, and put the lid on, make sure it's secure. Use a towel to protect your hand in case something does pop up and start slow. Pour this into some sort of container to hold it while you blend the second batch. So after blending both batches, go ahead and pour them back into the pot. I'm gonna place the temperature back to low right now. It's time to add the coconut milk. Now, you don't have to add this coconut milk. As you can see here, let me show you how creamy this is. It's very creamy now, but I really like the coconut milk in there. It adds a little bit of sweetness to this. So I'm gonna pour that in. As soon as this is blended in, then it's time to take a taste and you can adjust all your seasonings. You can add more spices if you want to, maybe you need a little more salt, maybe you don't, but now's the time to do that. It looks like a nice consistency. Like I said, you can adjust the thickness by adding a little more chicken broth if that's what you wanna do, but I think it's perfect just the way it is. And of course I have my pumpkin seeds here that are sprouted and they make a nice complement to this. They give it a nice little crunch. They're slightly salted, so they, you know, add a little something too. So it's really nice. All right, let's taste this. It's pretty hot. Very savory. Mm, it's just, it's nice and it's very comforting. Perfect for Thanksgiving or anytime, really, anytime you want to make it. Delicious. So if you'd like to try another of my Thanksgiving recipes, I have a homemade sausage turkey dressing that I think you should try. I'm gonna leave a link right over there. Go ahead and click that, check it out, make that and see what you think. It is was inspired by my father-in-law and he just really knew how to make dressing. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, smash the like button for me and leave me a comment. All right, we'll see you next time with another delicious recipe. Happy Thanksgiving.